Good morning. We are at Rocky Mountain National Park and we are at the Chapin Pass Trailhead. Elevation 10,640 feet. Today I'm going to attempt to do CCY Chapin, Chiquita, and Epsilon. This is the start of the hike. So the first quarter mile was pretty much all incline and I believe I'm at my first trail split. So it shows Chapin, Chiquita, Epsilon summits up this way. Chapin Creek, Chapin Pass trailhead is that way. And then Chapin Creek is this way. So we want this way. We're getting views, our first views of the summits. We are making our way that way. It's a little chilly this morning. Just came up this steep section, making our way down over continuing down this trail. Look up, we're already almost at a tree line. Whoa. That right up there is the Alpine Visitor Center. And this has became a climb. So this is where we just got done. The views are uh, epic. Beautiful, beautiful views. And now we will continue going this way. Up the stairs and follow the trail. So I just got to this fork in a trail. It says, all summits trail not maintained beyond this point. So what does that mean? Am I bushwhacking? Oh, great. All right, make it more fun. I'm okay with that. We'll keep it going. So I just got done coming up around here. This way. I pop behind, I come around this rock right here, and I got a nice little lake here. I had no clue this was even here. I've seen a couple videos of this hike, and no one's ever showed this. Thought it was pretty cool. Got my new hiking shoes on today. Can't get those wet. Guess I gotta turn back. Just kidding. Hopefully I don't fall into quicksand. So I'm gonna use this rock right here and then navigate to this rock right here and then to that rock. Those represent the peaks I'm trying to bag today. Working our way up this trail. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm seeing. Beautiful, this blue sky is looking. I'll pan it around. So all the views. Got some snow. 
Now up here, way out there is the Alpine Visitor Center. I feel like I'm walking on a 3D map. It's so cool. Did I mention how annoying these bugs were today? It's like every time I stop to take a breath, they're asking me for directions before a hornet the size of my finger was chasing me with an Uzi. I was like, ah! So we are just currently under 12,000 feet. And this is pretty much what we're looking at here at this point. Remember how it said the trail was it maintained past that point back there? Well, I thought we were going to be hitting a bushwhack or something, but instead seems more like a rock whack. All these rocks everywhere. That little animal right there is called a pika. It's like a rock hamster. We're still navigating the rocks here. Thank God I had electrical tape. I mean, if anybody has any recommendation on what a good, good hiking poles, they just snap like twigs after a couple of uses. I don't understand. So if you know of any recommendations on where I could get sturdy, durable ones that'll last, let me know down in the comments. But like I said, we're still navigating these rocks and working our way to Chapin Mountain. So we just got done with the rock section and we're going to look back from where we came from. Oh, but all along here, loose rock and pebbles and gravel. And then you got some dirt again here. The skies are crystal clear, blue as can be. And then going up this way, I believe that's to Chiquita. And then going up this way where those people are going is the summit of Chapin. That's where we're going first. Just working our way up the path to get to the summit of Chapin Mountain. It's pretty steep. It's an itchy mormon. He can't have the ticks, he's too high up. He may have the mormon crabs. Time now is 11 o'clock and I am on top of Chapin, 12,455 feet. Oh man. Continues. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. Takes you all the way to the top of Chiquita Mountain. Here. Beautiful views.
Then you got this little shelter right here. Wonder what that's all about. Hey, it's a little rock shelter. These flies are out here even this high. I mean, if it was windier, they wouldn't be. So this is Chapin. Alrighty. Well, after hanging out here for about 20, 30 minutes or so, up at the summit of Chapin, but enjoying the views and making it up here, it is time to continue. And our next stop, hopefully, is Chiquita, which is right up there. We are back on the Chapin Pass Trail. Just made it back down from Chapin. And now, straight on up. I think the little guy wants to be in the video. We got some people out here. Well, at least I had no one at the top of uh, Chapin. I had that summit all to myself. Pretty cool. Time now is 1227. We came from, you see that thin line out there? I could zoom in. our way up this steep ridge we're at this point now and just to give you an idea but it's all up from here and then that makes the summit of Chiquita came up all this way still got another 152 feet up to the summit of Chiquita and I don't know if you could see, being that everything's rock, but this whole, this whole thing is rock. No more trees and no more vegetation. Rock on rock on rock. 13,000 feet. My first 13er. Got these Karens. We're just gonna go ahead, follow it up till we get to the top. Not these views. Some clouds are rolling in, but they don't look too concerning to me. Not the wood. A few more feet. And then we're at the true summit of Ch Chiquita Mountain. Trying to navigate all these dang old rocks. I mean, it's a little grassy at that point, but trust me, on the way down, as you've seen coming up, it's all rocks. Got a couple people up here at the summit, but uh, this was definitely a beast. Yeah, I know it's a low grade 13er, but it's my first 13er and this was a gnarly one. I worked my way that way and get some better views. In three, two, one. This is looking down at the lake. And this is right below me. Got some snow there. That's Hague Mountain. That's Fairchild. This is Ypsilon.
another thing I realized that today, not only did I make my first 13er, but I also summoned two melons in the same day. Now I'm sitting up behind my little cool rock fort, or I was trying to look for the summit register, but I'm not having any luck finding it. That elevation took my breath. Woo. First 13er, and I definitely felt the difference, but it was more out of breath than anything as far as my motor skills, if that makes sense. We have Ypsilon right there. And I know I said that I was going to do Ypsilon today, but I got go down all that and then go back up to there. So it's already 2.15. Got to go get the kids to camp by 5. By the time I do that, and then work it back down and go up here and then go down and then all the way back to the trailhead. Gonna be, it's gonna be too late, I don't know. I don't know, I could always come back for it another time, but a win is a win. I mean, I may not have gotten all three, but at least I got two out of the three and I achieved my first 13er today. I'll take that. What are you doing? Get away from my poles. Go. No. Is he licking my bag? Hey. Go away. Well, on that note, time now is 2.30. And I've been up here for about 25, 30 minutes. Had some water and a sandwich and replenished. Now it's time to head on back. We are working it back down. This is where we and I was talking to somebody up on the summit and they had told me that apparently down there if I could zoom in so, right before you take it up to Chapin, there's like a social path. And you can go around the base of this mountain, which is Chiquita. And then you can go and take it straight over to Ypsilon. Do Ypsilon first, and then come up Chiquita. And then take it back down this way. So, it's alright. Still got the whole summer ahead of us. So we're back down at the base of the mountain. So we just got down to Chiquita. And back down on the path. We have to take it on along the side of the mountain there. And get it back until we make it to the trailhead. Another accomplishment achieved today was first time driving old Fall River Road. I'll put it this way, anybody who thinks Trail Ridge Road is nerve-wracking, try old Fall River Road and then come back and talk to me. I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was a great experience. Exciting. Uh, tight switchbacks. Dirt road. It's really cool. Head out, it's a one way road, so I gotta take it up to the Alpine Visitor Center, which is that building straight ahead.
continues that way and this is looking back on Chiquita looks round from that angle I'll put a picture in the video of what the front of the mountain looks like Pretty much goes dirt, rock, dirt, rock, dirt, rock, all the way until you get back to tree line. So that's what we're working with here. So we are heading back down into tree line for a short period of time, and then be by that lake, and then back in the tree line again until we eventually hit the trailhead. Back down by the lakes, make my way back around here to the tree line. This one, on the way back, there's a second one right over there. Cool. It is pretty big in size. Only a little left until we make it to the trailhead. I would say four or five tenths of a mile, and we will be back at the trailhead. And we are back down at the trailhead. And that one came out to about just a little over five hours. Check off Chiquita, check off Chapin, check off Old River Road, and we'll be back next time for Epsilon. Till the next one.